So if any of you are familiar with uh, script extenders for something like Skyrim, Fallout, and then you would know that when you launch the script extender, you have to launch, or when you launch the game, you have to launch the script extender first. And that's because the script extender has to work its magic before you get into the game. And this is kind of annoying for those of you who use them because, you know, if you try to launch the default launcher from Steam, like if I wanted to play Fallout 4 right now and I hit play, then it would launch the default Fallout 4 launcher. And the problem with that is it won't run Script Extender and it won't be able to work its magic and won't be able to um, extend the scripts, if you will. So this tutorial today is going to be showing you how to make it so that when you hit play on Steam or double click the game, it will launch the Script Extender which will in turn launch the game. And so it's a really simple trick, easily reverted if there's any problems, and um, I'll be showing you exactly how to get it done. And uh, yeah, that's about it, so let's get right into it. Uh, another thing I'd like to mention is how this works is it tricks Steam into thinking it's launching the default launcher, but it's actually launching the script extender, which then launches the game. And then Steam thinks that the game's running so that it gives you hours and achievements and stuff like that. So, essentially, um, a minor detour in Steam's eyes, but it, you still end up playing the game, and Steam still counts your hours and achievements and everything like that. So, um, I'm going to be showing you how to do it right now. So, for the game you want to uh, set the script extender as the launch, what you're going to do is you're going to right-click, and hit Properties, and you go to Local Files, Browse Local Files. You can X that out now. All right, so what you're going to see here is all your um, files in the game that you select. So right now I have Fallout 4 selected, so you're going to be seeing the files for Fallout 4. So essentially, um, you see this right here? This is the Fallout 4 launcher. When you, when you hit play on Steam or double-click it, it will be launching this file. But because I have added the extension dot back to the end of it, it has rendered it totally useless. Steam won't even use it because of this, and um, it won't be used at all. And uh, instead, it will be using the launcher that is named exactly the same, but without the back file. So how this works is this is the standard launch file, and because I've added back to the end of it, it has um, not become usable anymore. And since I have replaced the uh, launch file with this file right here and named it the same thing when steam when you hit play on steam it thinks that it's launching or it thinks that it's running the game using the fallout 4 launcher because that's what this one is named so you can actually name the fallout 4 launcher.exe to any file and when you hit play on steam it will think that it's launching it so what this file is right here is the script extender so i just basically have changed the name of the script extender to the fallout 4 launcher and so now, when Steam launches the game, it'll be launching the script extender instead of the default launcher, and it won't even know what it's doing. So, uh, this doesn't create any problems with anything. When you hit play on Steam, it will just, uh, instead of la launching the default launcher, it will launch the script extender. And then the script extender will switch it over to Fallout 4, and Steam will think you're playing Fallout 4. So just a minor detour, St Steam doesn't think anything of it and it doesn't take any longer than it usually would to launch the game. So I think that's really cool. And I um, think it's a really big hassle trying to go find your Fallout 4 script extender, New Vegas script extender, and launching that instead of the game. So uh, this simple trick allows you to just play the game um, without launching the script extender se separately. So I just, threw, I just threw together this text file really quick the other day, and you can basically just see what I did. Uh, Fallout4Launcher.exe changed to Fallout4Launcher.exe.back and I just changed F4SEloader.exe to Fallout4Loader.exe and the F4SEloader.exe is the script extender so because I've changed its name to the um, Fallout4 Launcher now it will launch instead of the default launcher and this works for Fallout4, Skyrim, um, New Vegas and even games like uh, Deus Ex Game of the Year so if you have a if you have the give me Deus Ex mod for the original Deus Ex it will um, you also know that you have to launch that instead of the game it's the same principle there you just change the name of the give me Deus Ex mod to the name of the launcher for the Deus Ex um, game 
and I can show you. I have this done for New Vegas and um, Fallout 4. I also have it for, done for Deus Ex, so I can show you those three, but I don't have it done for anything else. I promise you it works for Skyrim 2. You just have to follow the same steps and just name them accordingly to what they are because um, they can't all be Fallout 4 script extender. Um, so the names are going to be different for each game, but the principle is still the same. So here's what I did for Fallout New Vegas. As you can see, that's the original launcher. Changed the script extender to the name of the original launcher. And now Steam thinks it is launching the game, but it's actually launching the script extender, which then launches the game. So I can show you real quick how this works. If you have Fallout 4 or New Vegas on the PC, you will know that when you launch it, it comes up with the um, little menu thing that has the play button on it. So it's basically like a second launch. So if you have Script Extender, you'd also know that it just goes straight into the game. It does it skips that first launcher. So now you can see for sure that it worked. It's going to prepare to launch Fallout 4. You see a little dialog box pop up and it goes away. And now you're in Fallout 4, which will probably take forever to load. But that's beside the point. The point is that this works and it solves um, this age-old problem easily. So, uh... That's about it guys for this video. If you uh, like this video, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or if this didn't work for some reason, leave a comment in the comment section. I will try to answer it for you and solve your problem as best as I can. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you like this video or want to see more videos like this one. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.